<laughs> Kenyan women are so gorgeous. One highlight of my Mwandamano is my eyes are glowing. <laughs> At the same time, yeah, it's an extreme struggle. No, no, I'm not going to be a body plan. I'm not going to be a body No, I want to see more. I'm not going to be a body plan. I'm not going to be a body plan. I'm not going to be a body plan. You are bored of them. Hey, bro, like, hola, you're not going to be a body plan. One of the things, Lord, that like, okay, Angalia, how my buddies are gonna come through? Why are they putting themselves in that situation? Nani mati mo na fa ko soft girl era. Man, it's risky. Those girls need to be spoiled to appeal to wines and tales. After you to the gecko, after you to the alchemist, like you have command a man to how make it make sense, man, nigga. So, who them for that jekap? Similar to you. Kuna manisha kuna kitu ana fight for. Kuna kitu ana ana she's trying to voice out. Na wale watu wote wenye wako in this move in this movement of Gen Z led but now it is a, like a national movement there's something all of us want to voice okay um, i'm sure jana umesikiza twitter space ya kina Otero na mimi on my side wakati tuniliona the people are angry bro people are angry and anger is a very bad emotion but it's an emotion that can bring change if directed in the right way how are you feeling I would say I'm feeling disappointed man. Mm. Mhm. Now I have one question for you. Talk to me. Are you ready for Tuesday? I was born ready man again. <laughs> You're very ready for Tuesday. Man, I yeah. am just checking my problem. When him to write a lot of introduction. Mhm. When him to mejitole a juicy and every other day of your life. O make a life yako in the front line. You have shelved your ambitions. You have beat your inner fear. Courageous man. Selfless dictator and a hard working man. and the people of Kenya are thanking you for your service that's the thing i don't want thanks cuz i wanted to do this mm-hmm. and it's my duty mm-hmm. when it's your duty you don't expect thanks you don't expect remuneration you do it cuz you know you have to do it mm-hmm. so thank you very much to the kenyans who actually turned up to the young youths who actually know their rights mm-hmm. a lot of these old politicians and all these people in power saying gen z's and us young millennials don't know what we're doing mm-hmm. but we're very educated we have degrees we have masters we have phd's uh-huh. whatever we're saying we back it up with knowledge and know how mm-hmm. we are not wale watu kubebo hivi hivi atupangwingwi atupangwingwi manze <laughs> yeah that's an old slogan from the current president bana how is your thought process your emotions your life before and after the finance bill it's crazy because there's been a lot going on in the past two weeks and recently especially in the past couple of days with these extrajudicial arrests with these extrajudicial murders me as a gen z i feel very attacked i feel very scared mm. but that fear won't hold me back from giving out to the kenyan people or exercising my duty as a kenyan and as a doctor mm. so i am scared but i will not relent to me talk thursday protest around this uh, tattoo Dr Dr Don na Dr Durag. Dr Dr Durag. Every day we say my believe and the Z was ipatani. Thank you for being here bro. It's my pleasure. I hope we have missed you a lot karibu bana. I'm happy to be back. It's mm. been a minute. Mm. He episode may shoot on Sunday and on Tuesday kuna another medical camp itakuwa kuna another, another demonstration itakuwa. How are you preparing for Tuesday? na kuna dr japrado kina nani edgar wabwire na crazy nairobian wamebebwa how have you been feeling today ukizikia watu wanabebwa na unajua wewe ni nini potentially unaweza bebeka pia so for the first question how are we preparing for tuesday mm. number one, i'm so happy that you have told me that Other than Jamia Mosque there is also a church mm. that will also be participating with church is it is a cathedral in town 
yeah. bado nani aja nipe mm. full detail so it shows that everyone is in this together so mm-hmm. how i am preparing is i'm looking for medical supplies because on thursday we saw that we weren't perfect we had some deficiencies especially mm-hmm. for those patients that had major cuts we needed to suture but we didn't have suture materials mm-hmm. so hopefully on tuesday we can have some suture materials to help prevent bleeding because without sutures you can't stop me- excessive bleeding and for the case of rex mm. rex didn't die because of the wound mm. or the bullet he died because mm. of excessive bleeding mm. he had a shot to the leg mm. most probably the femoral artery mm. and that bleeding is what led to death for example if he was brought to us the most we could have done is pack the wound and tourniquet it mm. but with other wounds we couldn't do that we didn't have enough facilities and enough supplies to do that so hopefully we have more supplies and those people who want to support us you'll be getting free marketing and you'll be helping the Kenyan people so that's how I'm preparing number 2 for all as an afunga man ningodi is 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 scary but what what can we do about it it just shows us that our message is getting through mm-hmm. to very important people mm-hmm. and these hierarchy on they are getting to hear us yeah and mm-hmm. these important people are trying to silence us but the thing is about this gen z uprising or this gen z stand up is that there is no one specific leader wakifunga japrado kuna elias wakifunga elias kuna dimbil wakifunga dimbil kuna hanifa mm-hmm. there's hundreds of us you can't see such a movement that has no specific leader there's no agwapo here we all in this together uh ni question aneliuliza aneliuliza ares akiwa hapa jana dr aden mhm nikamuliza wewe unaenda hizi maandamano ama hizi demonstrations and uh, you know that you might be the next victim of police brutality are you willing to pay the price if it means the finance bill is being rejected wongo mbaya i'm not willing <laughs> same for rex he was rex not... was willing mm. nobody is willing to put their life on the line for a bill because mm. ukweli ya mambo ni finance bill ya 2023 lipita hii mm. kipita si ati tuta daddy mm. we'll move on it will be harder than it was before but we'll move on na ukidaisha okay, hivyo okay, are you are you put, saying like you're okay with living on your knees no i think the finance bill if it passes bro we are living on our knees as gen z's we are at a position where to me, we are caught in between and we don't know where to go government na tufinya kutoka inside we have no opportunities we have to create opportunities for ourselves one number young doctors kama wewe wako in uh, tuko unemployed for how long ile pesa tukidogo tunapata wanataka kutukata na on top of that watu wake tax juu kama young doctor kwa hii movement kwa hii revolution because at, at this point i'm not even looking at it from like a finance bill pk apana i'm looking at it like the gen z the young people raising their voice and saying listen guys mnafaka kutusikiza mnafaka kutusikiza and this is our what we are what we are going to tell you like a b c d you are a part of a population you 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 contribute to the general population but if we narrow you down your main contribution to this country apart from healthcare kuna zingine but your main one is healthcare through your knowledge and experience a product of university of nairobi umesema hizi mambo mane aka kwanza you are working well under pressure you, gonna, you, gonna, <laughs> <laughs> you perform great under <laughs> pressure you gonna you gonna direct my bodies on <laughs> First and foremost by the way uh, Kenyan women are so gorgeous one highlight of my mandamano is my eyes are glowing <laughs> at the same time tearing. it's an extreme struggle no no my children now na body plan am changanya eh unafanya no i want to see more mwanaume azilia bila body una tega zina kutandika lakini uko hivi Bro. Hey bro like wala yata jana ni into nini one of the things lord that like ukiangalia how my buddies are gonna come through why are they putting themselves in that situation na ni madem una for a soft girl era but it's risky those girls need to be spoiled to apeleke wines and tails after you to the gecko after you to the alchemist like in a commander mano tao make it make sense man nigga so who them for the jack up similar to you kuna maanisha kuna kitu ana fight for kuna kitu ana, ana she is trying to voice out na wale watu wote wenye wako in this move in this movement of gen z led but now it is a, like a national movement there's something all of us want to voice 
Uki, ume, I'm sure jana umesikiza Twitter space ya kina Otero. Na mimi on my side wa kitu niliona the people are angry bro. People are angry and anger is a very bad emotion but it's an emotion that can bring change if directed in the right way. How are you feeling? I would say I'm feeling disappointed man. Mm. To be honest, e election yenye mepita mimi nilikuwa job. Mm. We were together, tulikuwa mm. St. Mary's, mm. we were doing surgeries. Mm. I didn't feel the urge to go for an election because mm. I didn't feel it would elect me. Mm. Uh, it would affect me, sorry. Mm. But now looking back I'm disappointed at myself for not lining up going mm. to vote because mm-hmm. there's this misconception that we have but the good thing is this is changing that these politics don't affect us but mm-hmm. they affect us directly they affect our parents and the future of our country and mm-hmm. our children mm-hmm. so this is an enlightenment to one point that this will affect us that we need to vote that we need to have voter registration and that we need to stand on business we need to stand on business kama jinsi miss joy vote we shall vote mara kambili ndio hata hiyo kura yenyewe business joy shugulika nayo mara mbili lakini nimeoga zote mbili <laughs> baba nilikuwa mtu wa kuambo 2013 nilikuwa ndani 2017 nilikuwa nikasema you're not repeating kifaa ndio 2017 just pays the report kila mtu aliona except mca mca ni kuzo wangu alipotea ana vote yako ilienda hivyo so gentlemen hopefully this time round we can bring change if there's one communication or a message flani ungependa ku pass that is affecting you individually and if it affects you it affects me because to to have similar struggles ni nini exactly unaweza pinpoint out um, apart from the finance bill because we are rejecting that totally but question na kuja what next after finance bill so the issue that we we kama dr don uko nayo unataka ku point out and you want to point it out you be like that is my issue and that must be addressed what would that be you know you know you need it again as a doctor s h i f social health insurance fund have you seen that stuff like they have half linda mama mm. linda mama manze mean kwa job hata nikiwa hizi mahusi zingine linda mama was making life easy he was protecting women from a lot of gender based issues mm-hmm. So there are a lot of deficiencies what one on to reject finance bill mm. other than finance bill after the finance bill tunafai kukalea SHIF because SHIF has a lot of deficiencies from Linda Mama to how the registrations work unaambiwa you need to register for SHIF everyone has to mm. if you're broke if you're jobless mm. whatever you are you need to register ukishali pay your bill after you you will not be able to access SHIF goodies or SHIF facilities if you have not paid so leo ukichotwa na gari ama mimi nichotwe na gari mm. tupelekwe hapa mbagadhi mm. if you have not paid for SHIF they cannot cover for your bill tuseme hata one month yenu kweli yeah yenu kweli doesn't make sense so there are a lot of deficiencies in a lot of these things that this hustler government in quotes hustler in quotes mm. is bringing that we need to address and they need to listen to us but I, i'm i'm at least a bit happy that leo ruto akiwa aic alisema manze majenzi tumeona tunawasikia that means that mm. we are being heard mm. by the people in the highest office of power mm-hmm. and we don't want to be heard only we mm. want to be listened to as well and action ju watu wengi wenye wanapata na president wanasema ako na mdomo tamu indeed kama ni my to convince watu wa mboga na wase wa ndudi and the treatment is like this right now what makes you think this will be different next very hard very hard there's a uh, tweet za jacob juma zina real surface every now and then and it makes me think was this guy a kenyan prophet man is this the prophet who they are talking about mm. every tweet in a tokea at the right time I'm like what the hell man and it's right and it's right and it's ukiangalia ina depict the current situation the way it is and if it was the same what eight years ago that is crazy but now that the gen z is being the young people now let me even actually ask you to gen z the young people now we want to be involved in the politics of our country and we want to be involved in the growth of our country as young people apart from kuchukua kura what else do we need to do ma unonaje we in your opinion what else do we need to do in my opinion first follow follow each other follow for follow <laughs> kila mtu apate 1 million followers na kuna 1 million following uh-huh. follow each other number two, support each other's businesses support each other's ideas like say we have damal healthcare here at loving lab courts come through as a gen z 
umesikia we have free consultation from time to time we have heart scans like let's support each other let's support our businesses tujengane sisi kwa sisi not these fucking cheap us influencers ulikuwa unaona kasipola anaongea nyasi and he is illiterate unaona sijua mimi say to kia rg the nyasi the donkey the donkey Uh, account yake ilikosti 1m ya yeah, TikTok 486 imeshukwa imeshukishwa to zero eh yeah, na ameblock you that is the power of gen yeah. so don't follow these shitty influencers who have nothing to offer to us ni follow me mimi ni daktari na kupea content i am kind of funny mm. i'll make you laugh <laughs> and on top of that i'm standing on business so to support you ni mazee na utapewa consult mm. now we'll take care of your parents yes yeah <laughs> <laughs> but ukiangalia okay, nao umesema tuna support ya na business jinsi tumeonesha we have we can we support each other how much have we raised today in i don't know how much of four hours in the space 2 million 2 million that is going to the burial of uh, kina my uh, family kanyike na family ya ken munyako knh but kuna countless others when you are hivo they will need our support and jinsis to monisha we are coming through for all the people who need us regardless of divisions and ukiongelea divisions jamia mosque iliokolea wa Kenya by coming through during heat time demonstration but kuna watu wanachukua chance ya kusema waislamu hii na wa kristo hii but message yetu na remain the same you guys um, let me interject hmm otero on the tweet There's a guy called uh, Shad. He's busy. This is a bad guy. From less than how many days. Nilikombia tactics. Mbona hiyo video nimeseti leo? Tactics za Hadi jana alikuwa na BRS. Ruto president Ruto ni mtu alisoma politics kwa school ya Moi. Lazima atakuwa na hizo traits za Moi za abductions. Ona huyo Shad amepotea na nimepotea. Next inaweza kuwa ni mimi ama inaweza kuwa ni wewe. You know, are you living in fear ama unaonaje? I'm where ni kaende kaende kifo cha mende. Mi ama Nairobi and yeah. me ni connected. I'm I'm connected. I'm well connected. <laughs> I'm well connected. So just come connections that can. I guess ukishikwa wezi hawezi potea sana. Eh. Okay, tukishikwa leo. Ama tuongelele, acha tukishikwa leo. Acha ndo kushikwa leo. Ie the worst of the worst. Kaende vibaya vibaya. Uona una ni picture gani itakuwa painted kikaenda vibaya vibaya the way matters you'll be a matter at the end of the day you will enhance the course a million times mm. than you would alive akura za kudanganya twende bigger picture kando na sisi pekee yetu twende bigger picture like finance bill imekuwa past watu wamesema fuck it watu wame jam makelele imeanza revolution imeanza opposition imeingia ndani unadhani tunaweza fika deep ali itakuwa tuko na into nini ku ama like instability no mm-hmm. kenyans are very civil kenyans are the most civil people in africa if you ask me mm. i don't think it afika huko hata venye watu wanaongelea na bi ruto mm. yeye mwenyewe akikaa chini akiona mambo yamechemka mm. he will have to step he'll have to dial it back down so i don't think hata itafika hapo one thing i do know is even finance bill kipitishwa hii mambo tutasema ni sawa at worst ni tupatane 2027 kwa kura there are 8 million people who didn't vote including me and you uh, yeah, yeah and 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 yeye kitu tunafuck badilisha man mm, so tutapatana to 2027 sisi sio milima tutakutana tutapatana now in to become to figure 2027 tunataka ku form the youth party the young people of Kenya YPK party ambayo itakuwa na a lot of heads organizations and all of us are gearing towards 2027 and you're looking at we will look at leaders to lead our party we ungiona nani is here covid tunaweza mweka we Hanifa Hanifa Safi Hanifa cha password Hanifa Jabrado CS ndani mwingine watu wanaweza tulilio crazy Nairobi the sick gen <laughs> Nani mwingine? Uh, Dr. Rain. Dr. Rain. CS wa content. <laughs> Atekeleza tu mara video hapo. Yeah. Akitibu watu wetu. Akitibu watu wetu. But our future looks bright. This is the young people of Kenya. Mm. Future tunakafiti. Mm. Lakini hatukubali watu wazae watucheze future. 
Exactly. See why I'm saying even if mm. finance bill kipitisha hakuna ngori kubwa ni mm. these people have done more good for us than they think they have. Mm. Hii kitu imetu unite we are tribeless man. Mm. Mimi nikiwa Thursday man sijui kabila mtu mimi nilikuwa tu hapo na tibu kila mtu mm. then naenda napigotia gas kidogo na chiki mabadi na narudi. <laughs> right one Mm, I'll come. I'll come after finance bill. Labda unaweza jua hiyo ndio ile like how I met your mother. Bana. Kwa demonstration. Ameshikia placard hivi, unashikia placard hivi alafu. Si bae. I is local that's it. Bana. Hapo mm, unapata revolutionary kama wewe. Mm. Dema kona mindset kama yako ama chali au wenye au ma demo. Cuz pia ma demo mbona machali ni mbona hizo videos za TikTok. Ma demo mbona machali wanasema god damn. So vile iko revolution uh, uh, si revolution peke tukima tukifunga revolution tunaweza enda piga concert hapo hapo trao street party moja wazimu hiyo wow. story ya Nairobi party ya Sakaja ni ufala <laughs> tunalichukua hii street party kama hii example hapo all the blocks zilikuwa zimefungwa man but opportunities zinakuja hopefully like lakini on a serious note by the way i pray that this the end result of this is more opportunities for the young people uh more platforms for the young people to be heard it's good that the politicians were, were in the twitter space jana cuz walisikiza walisikia kenya my young people are focus on hadi niliona ruta alikuwa hapo ilikuwa ni yetumbia mengine na account tofauti they don't they not to be yetumbia mengine na account ya preserve au kumbuka ku change so akatoka but ni opportunities na tunaonesha tuko na tunataka more opportunities bro and, and i want you to be like open with me and like very open to the people out there what is the one thing that is governmental that curtails your progress now kuna mahali umeambiwa you cannot open doors without connections au kuna mahali umeambiwa you cannot open doors without cheddars a certain amount everywhere that's the thing like i don't think we can change this overnight but as as us young generations the gen z's and the millennials we've been curtailed manze kuna makatel manze kila mahali mm. and i feel it's just like we need to learn from these mistakes like we shouldn't repeat these same mistakes for our children man judge people based on their personality their knowledge and their emotional intelligence so see judge mtu based on their name their tribe and the region they come from mm-hmm. there's more to a person than those superficial things mm. So I think it's just that we need to learn from the mistakes of our elders and our peers and do better. And I'm going to call out my millennials in one aspect. Is it more offices a county government na nini watu shikilia mob dikina nani? Ni wao. Na ni nani watu itisha sisi they do wakati ama kitu kidogo wakati tunataka kuingia kwa similar spaces. Si. Nani anakuzuia kuingia similar spaces? Yeah. So millennials don't want to come a competition but our juice is ni mabro au dogo. We peers. Eh. Yeah or please or tunataka ku take over tunataka kufuata footsteps zao na wao wanafako wana follow footsteps za kina nani na um, it's a good thing that our presidential age is not that big unye alikuwa 40 50 root of same unapata the next one probably atakuwa that age bracket hopefully unapata so kutakuanga na continuity continuity in life ni lazima lazima mm-hmm. pia millennials wakubali mm-hmm. agency wana come na it's good wame to show support by the way kwa hii movement wana to join now yeah. kina kibe mr lambestic puny that nigga lakini pia yeye <laughs> but ni ama millennials akina kibe akina hey. krg akina hey. kasipo the donkey <laughs> Ase wote manze venye wana reactive hey. they ask kisses manze millennials you all the millennials stop mm. kissing us man mm. tell you fall mm. hey, na ase be ni place ya kutoka mavi man wala mm. <laughs> mbaya as chafu wewe una lava good safi like it chafu but don niambie mindset yako una do una waza nini what are your hopes after this my hopes is that our country just remains peaceful 
a country is prosperous. This is like a hub of democracy in the whole of Africa. Mm-hmm. It should remain the same, Manze. Let democracy reign. Let the wo- words of the people and the voice of the people be heard. And let us go on that. To achani historia kufunga watu extrajudicially. To achi historia kupiga young people who are coming out for their right to like demonstrate kuapiga live rounds yeah i'm mm. just here to dem- to demonstrate and to bring peaceful change not to be peaceful because kenya is a peaceful place kenya is a beautiful country and that's all i want i want beauty peace democracy same prosperity same on tuesday tukienda huko umejipanga medically juzi on thursday uliona you are working very hard mashallah may allah make it like sadaqa mm-hmm. for you mm-hmm. Omen how I was seeing you in actions ukishon uki safisha vidonda funganisha mabandi hapa na pale she uki tengeza ma sprains unapata mm. uki tend to very many many people mm. and the people of Kenya extending their gratitude man not only to you even to kina consultant kulikuwa na ma consul hapo kulikuwa na ma nurses hapo kulikuwa na kina ento nani emergency teams hapo Similarly, on, on Tuesday itakuwa na itakuwa kubwa. And we are going to be part of of such a of such a great moment in history in this country because in my in my mind and in my heart na mean hii ni one of the like flipping points of a, of a country. Like the Saba Saba movement, the 2 3 chungwa na 2 5 chungwa na banana, chungwa na ndizi, the new constitution na then he in the last 10 years there's nothing new that has come into the country in terms of constitutional change or money whatever so if you want to in, in bring genzis up into policy making positions we have to allow genzis and train them into governmental policies and governmental positions how do you think like our government should do better what do you think our government should do better to incorporate us into decision making processes number one kwanza is education Umona kwanza university like uni- financing of university has been slashed. Mm. So wale watu kitambo wenye walikuwa nalipiwa na job kila mm. kitu there is mm. a certain amount they'll have to pay. Mm. So we need to stop that. We need to educate Gen Zs and millennials on governance and policy making and ourselves as Gen Zs we need to go back to school. To end the uni we go get our masters in in politics and international relations we get our masters in business administration and health system management for madaktari like let's to, to let's prove these people wrong akina ichungwa akina these mp wathika and all these people who think that we are not on their level mm. when it comes to governance and leadership mm. let's prove them wrong let's go back to school let's learn more let's educate each other let's have humility in the country is ours let's yeah. take space we occupy space exactly. and matter, what is matter is whatever that occupies space so we matter man what else do you have to tell the people man nikitambo to kokuwa laughing lap kote bongelesha watu wako laughing lap kote all i want to say is man thanks for the support and the love and the motivation we've been getting a lot of it Uh, thank you for coming together and standing on business standing for what you believe is right i miss loving lab coats i love this place mm-hmm. this place we've been together for the past three years Man. since to quit st mary's so this is home for me mm-hmm. and i'm looking forward to doing more together other than this activism because activism is just a minor part of what we are mm. we are doctors we are kenyans So I, what I want to be talking about is not this. I I I wanted to talk about endometriosis and how it's affecting. There's that media personality who passed away <laughs> yeah, due to endometriosis. Yeah, Jambi. Yeah. So there's there's a lot to talk about medically and mm. that's what I would like to talk about as mm. a doctor and educate my people about that. But the unfortunate thing is this is really what we have to talk about because mm. this is what is affecting us the most at this particular moment in time. But I hope after this whether it does or does not pass after this to kikuza laughing lab coats to tongela health issues that affect our people and how we can help them solve or improve them mhm mhm that's really cool man dr don't really let's be here bana the laughing lab coat family loves you and they appreciate you kabisa what of people can realize wapi don't any could disrupt our co bana and you see me and you the chemistry <laughs> yeah, is yeah. just electric hey yeah, i don't watch it bro say <laughs> we didn't have a script i just came here from an event i was yeah. like i'm passing by to be here set up the cameras boom and we move electric there's a lot we can do together 
juzi tukiwa pale there's a lot we can do together there's a lot of ways you compliment me and i compliment mm. you mm. and similarly emergency is that is how we move and even like human nature so bro no na tukienda tukiendelea mbele not in terms of laughing lab coat in terms of out there now and in terms of like giving back to our people hono na tudu nini nini we should give our people that we are, we have not been giving them or what can we do better for our people i think history i met camp ifi kuishana muandamano because i've seen there are a lot of problems out there that people have and don't are ignorant about don't have knowledge about mm. so i think these med camps zinafai kuendelea other than here and like where we go we record a podcast while doing a med camp that would be amazing like where we go out there we go to kibra mm-hmm. we get supplies we offer people those supplies as we do a podcast and then we interview people about what's affecting them i mm-hmm. feel like we should be more out there cuz majority like 100% of the podcast to me fanya in our studio mm. so now the next step should be we need to do a podcast outside in the studio yeah mm. we take our mics we take our cameras we go to south sea mm-hmm. we set up a camp mm-hmm. we do a podcast we do interviews we talk to people now or kuna difference kati ya kuna unachiki lazima ina group of like a thousand kuna kongana maduanzi kama wengine watatu wa ile hivi so kuna msingi alikuwa sema juzi ni madoki mle ndoko kuches cloud like you call what are we doing we are sipping coffee mm. with some amazing influencers mm. shout out by the shout out to Owia shout out to Elvis those guys tulipatana tu hapo tukacha piana mm. exchanged contacts these are people with half a million plus followers each and they were so humble so apa tukoenda ju ya story ya cloud cloud no we went there to make a difference mm. Mm. to represent our people mm. and create a voice for our people mm. hopefully kina elvis to our russia invite will come through pia laughing lab court to check it on on kenya tunafanya yeah. to interact na wao to hata kama ni consult here and there you know june was supposed to be like a men's health month Barile content you say men's health men don't know why wonder man 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 so maybe we can do our men's health in july apo yeah. tunezongelea but bado june ijaisha i think after tuesday tuesday will be on the 26th so i think what we can do maybe wednesday we have a mental health episode actually let's do that after mondamano there will be a mental health mm. video we we'll talk, talk about, about how we're dealing health. with this yeah. majama ma- vitu wanapitia yeah. so we'll do a, we'll do a video of mental health awareness how to hack and advance in your mental health and just generally those things that we face na, as men na pia kato na zambia kina because part of mental health sahi is money bro ile zile siku na konga down kidoa akili yako anataki kufanya kazi taki story ya taki story ya watu na konga down pia tuna tuna faku answer like a small just a small one or two episode segment on how to build your money so that it can boost your mental health yeah you know? i agree in it in it in it mimi nimemaliza i have said all i have to say maybe you can finish utumalizie podcast closing remarks mm. thank you very much for having me thank you to all the gen z's who showed up and showed out Tuesday to Patane sisi tutakuwa hapo tutaratibu wale watu watakuwa mwandamano tutaratibu mm. wale watu wenye wako tao na mko job if you want a free med- health consult be it physical health or mental health it's a free medical camp for everyone mm. come through thank you very much peace out peace out man laughing lab coach laughing lab coach